everyone! Welcome or welcome back to Rima Reads. So as you can see, filming in a different location. I am staying with my sister for a bit and I totally forgot to pre-film all of my videos. So we're filming here and I don't have all of my equipment, but hopefully quality ain't too bad. Y'all can still hear me. Yeah, anyways, let's go for it. So today I wanted to talk to you about my April TBR. I did not have a TBR in March and that went extremely well. And now I'm having a TBR in April and so we'll see how that goes. The first book I wanted to read in the month of April is Hood Feminism by uh, Nikki Kendall. I actually have the book here but it's like propping up my phone right now. So anyways, this is actually a book I am taking over from the month of March. This was the nonfiction book pick in uh, Gregory, and I'll post his, the link below, um, his Discord server. And I kind of got real FOMO because they were all talking about it. So I ended up uh, buying this like the last week of March and started reading it. And I think I'm about a fourth of the way through. Um, so I'm just going to carry this book over from last month, but it is a book that talks about mainstream white feminism and how it does not like relate and connect to uh, all women and really brings in the lens of intersectional feminism. Uh, so far I'm enjoying it. Like I said, I'm only about a fourth of the way through. I think Kendall does a great job like writing about her own personal experiences and how intersectional feminism would relate to that. So I'm excited to see where it goes. So far though, nothing has been like super new information to me. So I'm hoping I will gain some more knowledge as I keep reading on. <laughs> so yeah, that is the first book I will read in the month of April. The next book I am planning on reading in April is Upon a Burning Throne by Ashore K. Bunkar. This I am buddy reading with Alicia uh, over at her Discord server, so I'll link that down below, and I am super excited to read this book. I got the novel for Christmas and it is huge. It is a giant book, but I'm so excited. So this is an Indian inspired fantasy novel based off of the Mahabharata, which is an ancient Indian classic. Um, I've actually read another, well, I think this is sci-fi. I read a sci-fi fantasy novel that was also based off of the Mahabharata, um, but this is like, I believe a more fantasy novel. That sci-fi one, by the way, was A Spark of White Fire. Just post that here in case you're interested. Um, but yeah, so I, I've read a few stories based off of the Mahabharata and I've also like know the entire Mahabharata story so I'm interested to see at how this does with like capturing my attention since I know probably the main plot points. Yeah I'm very excited to read more Indian inspired fantasy that's one of my goals of 2021 um, because as an Indian person I haven't read that much Indian fantasy. So yeah, I'm very excited to read this over with Alicia and um, hopefully it'll be great. I'm going to have to start this one fairly soon because I think it's going to take a long time to get through. Y'all, it is huge. Um, it is also propping up my phone so I can't show you, but it is huge. So my next buddy read uh, is Winds of Strife by Yuji Goodman and this is the shelf published in pick of for the month of April and I'm very excited to read it. The uh, author um, is actually in that discord server so it'll be fun to interact with uh, my thoughts on the book. I don't know too much about the novel itself except there are like bad summary time. Uh, there are witch hunters um, who have like basically like committed hella violence against all of the witches. Um, and like a group of people who are trying to take the witch hunters down from the inside. So that's that's all I know about the novel, but I've heard really, really good things and of course love to support self-published authors. Um, so that's the other book I'm going to read this month. So the last buddy read I have in the month of April is Air Awakens by Elise Kova. This is also another buddy read going on in the self-published in. And again, I don't know too much about this book, Besides, it's like more of a magical romance novel from what I've heard and I think the main character is like a librarian who loves books and so uh, I love that. But we'll see how much I like fantasy romance because I don't, y'all don't know, I don't really read fantasy or I don't really read romance. Um, 
but I'm really hoping I like this novel. I've heard so many good things about Elise Kova, like people love her work. Um, and she's also another self-published author, so definitely want to support that. So I'm very excited to get to this book in April as well. So those are all my buddy, oh wait, no, there's one more buddy read that I forgot to mention, and that is Mistborn, The Well of Ascension. Uh, this is our buddy read uh, for the Cosmere Unbounded group, which I am a part of. Can't believe I forgot my own buddy read. <laughs> Anyways, yes, uh, this is the second book in the Mistborn trilogy, uh, Era 1, by Brandon Sanderson. And this will be a reread for me. It's probably my third or fourth reread. I can't, I can't remember. Um, but I'm having a really good time re reading the Mistborn trilogy because it's been a while and there are definitely things I've forgotten and after reading Rhythm of War it's nice to like go back and read different parts of the Cosmere again and like see where all the connections are. It's so much fun. Um, but it is the second book in the trilogy and so I won't say a plot summary in case you haven't read the first one and I don't want to give away spoilers but if you haven't read Mistborn go read Mistborn because it is so good y'all it's so good um and join us on the Cosmere Unbounded uh discord to uh read it along with us anyways um yes those are all of the buddy reads I have for the month of April uh then the other books I want to get to I want to read um the Shadow of Kyoshi by F.C. Yi. This is the second book in the Kyoshi Avatar series. I can't remember the name of the series. Um, but I read the first book uh, back in December, The Rise of Kyoshi, and it was so good. I love Avatar. It is my favorite TV show. Um, and these books, I think, just do such a great job of adding more to the Avatar lore, uh, but it's separate enough that I'm not all like, what's happening to my faves? <laughs> I thought the first book was really, really good in wrapping up Kyoshi's, or not wrapping up, starting Kyoshi's storyline. Um, and I'm excited to see where it goes from there. Again, I won't give too much of a summary because it's the second book in a series. I'm reading a lot of uh, second books in a series this month because the next one I want to read is A Desolation Called Peace by Arcady Martin, and that is the second book in the textile, Texcalin um, duology. I think it's supposed to be a duology. Anyways, um, it's the second book. The first one is A Memory Called Empire, which was really, really good. Um, it like takes place in this futuristic space empire that spans many planets and many systems. Um, and then there is a one small like solo station, like a group of stations that are not part of this empire. And our main character is an ambassador from those stations to the Empire. And she, in the first book, is part of this whole political intrigue, um, trying to figure out how the last ambassador died. And then this book, I believe, it's a continuation of that book, but there's an outside threat to their station, um, like some aliens or something, I don't know. Anyways, it was really good. I really enjoyed the first book. I'm going to talk about it more in my March wrap up. Um, and so I'm excited to see where this, this book takes us. And then the last book I want to read in the month of April is Lore by Alexandra Brecken. Um, Brecken? Yeah, Brecken. Alexandra Brecken. Lore by Alexandra Brecken. Um, I don't, did not expect to read this book in the month of April at all. I actually had other books on my list, but um, I put this on hold on Libby and it said a six months wait and then it came in in like two weeks. So anyways, it like I have it um, now on my Kindle app, so I, I should read it before it disappears and I have to actually wait six months. But anyways, this is another book that's like making the rounds on booktube right now. People love Lore. And I believe our main character, Lore, is like a descendant of the gods or something like that. But there's a whole bunch of people in the world who are descendants of the gods. And like they're supposed to like hunt down and murder the gods in some sort of like fun ritual thing. Um, and she's like, nah, I don't want to do that. I'm not about the murder life. And so she doesn't and then ends up like she like befriends one of her one of the gods and then go and like try and stop this whole brutal murder thing um, yeah that's all i know about that one so hopefully that's somewhat true and i'm not lying to you guys 
those are the eight books I want to read in the month of April. Um, I really hope I get to at least all the buddy reads. Um, very excited about all of them. Uh, and yeah, let me know if you guys have read any of these books. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.